who might have been kind of a, a, a adopted. I knew it. You knew. Well, who told you? No one. I mean, come on, Dad. But if you knew, why didn't you ever say anything? Why didn't you say anything? How did I get here, Dad? Where did I come from? Actually, you came from this. It was just another day at the restaurant. Time to make the noodles. I went out to the back where my vegetables had just been delivered. Only there were no radishes. Just a very hungry baby panda. There was no note. Of course, you could have eaten it. I waited for someone to come looking for you, but no one did. I brought you inside. Fed you, gave you a bath. And fed you again. And again. And then I made a decision that would change my life forever. To make my soup without radishes. And to raise you as my own son. <laughs> Xiaopo. My little panda. And from that moment on, both my soup and my life have been that much sweeter. And little Po, that's the end of the story. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> no, don't look at me. That's it? That can't be it. There's got to be more, Dad. Well, there was the time you ate all my bamboo furniture. <laughs> it was imported, too. One dumpling, please. Dragon warrior size. <laughs> oh, Paul. Your story may not have such a happy beginning, but look how it turned out. You got me, you got Kung Fu, and you got noodles. I know. I just have so many questions. Like, how did I ever fit in this tiny basket? And who am I? <laughs>